body work here. Um, not very much, just, just a little bit. Um, the key switch here, I don't know, it was like dented for some reason. I don't know why, but it wasn't flat. So I had to, I had to flatten it with a hammer. Um, they sell a hammer like this, it's for body work. Um, it's, you know, it's flat. So I straightened it with that, and then it was pretty much straight, but then I had like dimples from the hammer. And uh, again, instead of using Bondo, I used JB Weld. And I just smoothed it out, you know, I see it real thin, just to kind of cover it. And then I feathered it, you know, with the palm sander. You know, like this. This one, um, this one oscillates. It, it goes, you know, circular, but it also rotates. So that way you don't get, like, scratch marks. But anyway, um, if you do body work, um, it's always good to, after you get done when you're sanding it, to run your hand across it. Because you could be surprised what you can feel. If you can feel that, like if it doesn't feel totally flat, and you can still feel it when you run your hand across it, you're going to see it in your paint job. So keep working at it until when you, when, you, when you feather it enough where you can run your hand across it, and it doesn't even feel like it's there. Then you, uh, then you know, you know you're done with it. So that's uh, that's what you want, you know. If, if it may look good, but uh, if you can run your hand across it and you can feel it, um, you're gonna see it in your paint. And uh, so, anyway, that's just a tip on body work. Um, so yeah, I don't think you're gonna see that at all. So I'll show you when it's done when I when I paint it, and uh, we'll see how it looks. But, all right, thanks. All right, um, getting ready for paint. I uh, just want to show you. Wipe everything off with reducer you know, before you paint. You make sure you get all the fingerprints off and any grease that's left. And then tie cloth. You know, pick a Benny lint. It's kind of sticky, and you wipe everything off with that. Anyway, here's the reducer. Uh, it's uh, what you use to uh, thin down the paint with, and just. Wipe everything off first with that, with a with a tack with a lint -free, uh, free cloth, and then wipe it off with your uh, your tack cloth. So, all right, I'll uh, I'll show you when I'm done. And uh, here's my two parts epoxy primered. So I'm gonna shoot them with the yellow. I got some extra parts in here. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, I got an extra clutch. I'm gonna just paint it, throw it together, have a spare. Okay, remember I said about the cup? Well, I'm mixing it. So far I'm up to about five. Here's a reducer. And here's the hardener that I showed you before. And this is the other stuff that you want to use for fish eyes. So, okay, then uh, stir it up good. And you're supposed to wait about 10 minutes before you spray it. So, so I'm just going to stir it. And it's pretty thin. You want, it, you want it thin so you can spray it. But you don't want it too thin because then it'll come out flat. So, I don't know. That's about right. And then use a, a strainer because there's always lumps in paint, especially if it's been sitting around for a little while. Um, there's some lumps in there. So strain it before you before you fill it into your gun. So Alright. Another trick too. Um, cling wrap works really good. You put it on top of your lid before you put your lid on, or put it on before you put the lid on. Keeps it from drifting all over your arm. And if you want to uh, seal up the paint can, take a piece of this and put it on the paint can for you put the lid on it. Seems to uh, seems to help. Keeps it from drying out as quick. But anyway, I'm just gonna wait for this paint to uh, you know to uh, activate, and then I'll start spraying. Okay, and I got my uh, my cell paint on, so I'm ready to go. And there you go. It's all painted. And there's my body work. Good. And there's some other parts. These are all wet. And I got a bunch of 
much extras here.